This video shows you how to correctly install the Terrapin seat bag. Before getting started, make sure that you know that you have enough exposed seat post height and tire clearance measured from the tire to the saddle rails. To start, pull on the little pull tabs on the cam straps to loosen up the side straps. Then to open up the clips, simply push down to release the clip. Repeat this for the other side. To mount on the bike, pass the shiny webbing from the inside of the saddle rail to the outside and pass the clip through the loop, snapping the metal loop closed. Repeat this for the opposite side. Pass the seat post strap through the aluminum loop and then back on itself to close. Now the holster is mounted on your bike and you're ready to start packing. When packing the dry bag, try to really fill the front of the bag as much as you can and make it as solid as possible. You can go with lighter stuff towards the back of the bag. Also when stuffing, try to really grab some fabric of the bag and avoid pulling on the webbing or the buckles as this could damage the bag. Firmly shove the dry bag into the holster. The goal here is to get the dry bag as far in as possible. Also note that there's a top and bottom to the shaped dry bag. The air valve should be on the top of the bag, not down by the bottom. Pass the rear straps through the loop of the dry bag and then clip them off to the buckles on top. Once clipped, tighten down these straps as firm as you can. Close the buckle cams and then pass the loose end of webbing through the O-rings. You might want to slide the O-rings down a little bit to prevent straps from dangling. If your load is small, you can use the alternative buckles which makes the whole system more compact. Like before, pass the straps through the opening in a dry bag and clip the buckles to the top clips. After those are clipped, tighten down the straps really snug. Now we switch to the side straps. To compress and tighten up the whole system, tighten down the side straps really firmly. It usually helps to alternate side to side to get them really tight. Use the little clips to keep the loose strap from dangling. Now that's all loaded up, give the front strap one last little tighten and you're good to go. When you're removing the dry bag and repacking, the main thing you wanna remember is that you need to keep the side straps nice and loose when you're repacking. This allows you to shove the dry bag in all the way again. You really want to get the nose portion of the bag stuffed firmly so they end up with a nice, solid, stable system. And that's all there is. If you have any questions about this mounting, please reach out to us and we'd be happy to help. 